We are back now at 520, and of course, American Sniper has been in theater since Christmas Day. Connecticut native Kevin Lace is a retired Navy SEAL who served in Iraq. He appeared as himself in the movie, and we are honored, Kevin, to have you in our studio today. Thank you so much for waking up early to be here and also for your service to our country. Right and early. Thanks for having me here. And so tell us about the experience on this movie. I went and saw it. It is quite a powerful movie. What was it like for you to be on it? It was kind of surreal, you know, having been in the SEAL teams and fast forward a couple of years, the next thing you know, you're on set with Clint Eastwood and Bradley Cooper. So once you get over that, then it was, you know, easy sailing. But it was a great experience because, you know, we were able to tell this incredible story about the men of SEAL Team 3, especially Chris Kyle, uh, Mark Lee, Ryan Job, and, and really put that out there for everybody to, you know, digest and see what they think. And the response has been very positive. The response has been huge. I mean, it's one of the most talked about movies of the year. And I understand you started off on this film as a technical advisor and then were convinced into acting. Tell us about that. Well, my wife had made contact with the writer early on and you know, I'd just done some technical work with the writer, answering a few questions here and there. And after Chris, uh, Chris was murdered in February, um, the writer came down to the funeral and met a bunch of the SEALs and I took more of a role in, you know, answering stuff about Chris because Chris was, was no longer with us. And fast forward a little bit further, and next thing I'm working with Rob Lorenz and Andrew Lazar and training Bradley Cooper. And Bradley's beyond the gun one day, and he looks down, and he's like, hey, you ever think about playing yourself in the movie? And I had to think about it for a second. I was like, what? I, and um, I put a tape together, auditioned, and got the part. That's fantastic. And you were friends with Chris Kyle. You served with him, I understand, in Iraq. What was it like for you to tell his story, to be a part of this? You know, it was a, um, it was an honor to serve with him and, and Mark and Ryan Job. Um, but it really was, you know, a real privilege to to be a part. Um, you know, I was the only one on set who had actually had that relationship with Chris, and you know, to be able to share that brotherhood that the SEAL teams, um, you know, incorporates t with Bradley, with Clint, with everybody on set, and help paint that picture. Um, it was truly an honor to, to, to be that voice, and it was a very rewarding, cathartic experience to go back and, and relive those, but also be able to tell that to people. And now you're back in your home state for an event. Tell us about the event on Sunday. That we're doing a special of. screening at the Starplex in Kensington, and then we're doing a reception at the Crown Plaza in, in Cromwell. And uh, Gil's actually going to be emceeing the event, and we're really excited to have him. And we've got a bunch of great raffle uh, charity items, um, and it's going to benefit the Connecticut Trees of Honor which is going to help finish their Veterans Park in Middletown. And the, we're also benefiting the Chris Kyle Memorial Benefit in Texas, where all the proceeds go to the Guardians for Heroes. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here to talk to us. And we're going to talk to you again coming up at 6. More memories of Chris Kyle and your experience on the movie. So thank, thank you so, so much. much.